guys, it's Dana. Today we're gonna to make a tiny little project and it's only gonna take about five minutes. So let's do it. You know I love to make baby items. So here's another one you can add to your list of gifts to make for friends. It's a little baby hat. And really, it's the first fashion statement a newborn gets to make in those first few months of life. The best part is, it takes me about five minutes to sew. Here's what you need. A small amount of knit fabric and a pom-pom for the top. The great thing about these hats is you only need a little bit of fabric. And there are so many cute knit fabrics out there these days. You can find them online, in stores, and from an old t-shirt. The important thing about using a knit is that it's going to stretch as it goes over your baby's head. Now, you also need to have a little pattern. You can create your own by taking apart an old hat that maybe you have, or you can download my free pattern, which is on my site at madeeveryday.com. I've actually taken the pattern and traced it to cardstock, which I like to do when it's a pattern that I use over and over again, because it just makes it a little easier to trace. And you'll notice a marking on here that says stretch with arrows. That means you want to place that in the direction that the fabric stretches. If you want to learn more about knits, I have another video that goes into all of those details. Place your pattern on your fabric, and I have two layers here because there's a front and a back to your hat. And then you could trace this with a fabric marker. I'm just gonna use my scissors and just cut right into the fabric. I like to hold my left hand, pressing down, and just cut right around. Other ways to cut are using fabric weights or using a rotary cutter. I'm kind of a scissors person, so use whatever works best for you. Set that aside. Now you'll also notice this triangular piece in the middle. That's going to create a dart in our hat, which will make the hat kind of curve more around a baby's head. So take each of your pieces, fold them in half with right sides together, and we're gonna mark where that dart needs to go. Okay, so have them like that. Take my little piece here, place it right on top. I'm using a fabric marker here. I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit and mark where that first line should go, and then push it up and mark where the end of the point is, right there. Take a ruler, connect those together to make a diagonal line, just like that. And then, when we sew, we're gonna sew right along this line that we drew, and that's going to create our dart. Now let's mark the other one. Right here, pull it down a little bit, place a dot, Place our other dot, get our ruler, and mark our line. Okay, we're ready to sew. I have both of my pieces still folded in half because we're going to sew right along that line with it folded in half to create that dart. And I know I'm always talking about using a zigzag stitch when you sew with knits, and that is important. We're gonna do that in the next step. But for this particular part, I find that it works a little easier to do a straight stitch, otherwise it gets a little bumpy at the top. And this isn't a particular part that gets a lot of stretch. So, start with a forward and back stitch. And then just sew right along that line. If you wanna go slow, you can adjust your speed right here. And as you get to the end, you're almost going to sew off of the fabric because you want it to, well, that's what creates the little dart. So do a back stitch, cut your threads. I love my cutting feature on my baby lock. And there you go. You can see that we sewed right along that line there. Now let's sew our other one. And we have both pieces sewn. Now let's go to our iron. Now press those darts. You can press them to one side or the other. It doesn't really matter. Just like that. And you can see what this has done. It's kind of gathered up the fabric just a little bit in the middle which is nice when it goes kind of on a curve of a baby's head, it just will shape better around their head. Let's press the other one, and then we're gonna create the hem, or the cuff of the hat, whatever you wanna call it. So fold this under about three-fourths of an inch. That also does not need to be exact. That's just what I like to use. Press that in place, and the nice thing with knits is that it doesn't fray at the end, so we don't have to worry about this raw edge right here. We don't have to press it under and then under again. We can just leave it right like that and sew on top. Let's do the other one. And if you want, let's actually press it on top of this one to make sure that they're the exact same size. There we go, perfect. 
press that in place. Now, let's sew that in place and sew the thing closed. I told you it would take five minutes. Now for this particular step, you do want to use a zigzag stitch because that will stretch with the fabric. And this is a part of the hat that really does take on a lot of the stretch. So I'm going to select that over here. There we go. And I can even increase the stitch length a little bit if I want to. And then we're just going to sew a straight line right down on that cuff. Pretty simple. Do a forward and back stitch. And sew right down. Again, don't pull the fabric as you go. Just let your machine feed the fabric through for you. Do a back stitch at the end, cut your threads, and let's do the other one. Forward and back stitch, sew right down. I really do love making these hats because they, well, like I said, come together quickly. But they're so great for newborn babies to help keep them warm. And they're so much cuter than the ones you get at the hospital. I mean, right? Okay, we have our front and our back, which look identical. Now we're just going to pin them together. So lay them with the right sides of the fabric together and match them up at the cuff. That's the most important part. And then just pin it around a few times. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna sew this. And I'm gonna go back to a straight stitch again because as you sew around this curve, no matter how careful I try to be about not stretching the fabric, a zigzag, again, kind of makes it feel bumpy. So I'm going back to my straight stitch, to my machine, and I'm using about a quarter inch seam allowance here. Do a back stitch. Okay, now when you're sewing on curves, first of all, you wanna go slow. So if you're going too fast with your foot, you can adjust your speed right over here. There we go, and then, you need to somehow turn it as you're going, but if you pull it, it's going to stretch the fabric. So I sew a little bit, with knit fabrics especially. I pause, kind of lift my presser foot and let the fabric relax a little bit, and then keep going. Sew a little bit more, and as you can see, it's getting kind of pulled. I just do the same thing again. I'm gonna keep letting the fabric relax so it can kind of bounce back to its position. go. Make your way around. When you get to the dart, just sew right over the dart. It'll sew it flat. And just like that, we made it back to the beginning. Do a back stitch. And now, I'll show you the final touches. And there you go. There's our finished hat. I took my iron and pressed out that rounded seam just so it looks nice and flat, and it's going to sit great on the baby's head. Now let me show you some final touches. You could leave the hat just as it is like that, which I also love to do, looks adorable. Or you can add a little pom-pom on top, which I've shown you how to make in a previous video. I have one right here. My pom-pom, you can make it any size, little, big, ginormous, whatever's fun for you. I have a needle and thread right here, which I've shown you how to thread and how to tie a knot in a previous video. You're going to go in through the bottom of your hat in the middle here. It's a little difficult to show you, but I'm coming in from the inside and coming out right up here on the top. Pull it through until the knot ends on the inside of the hat like that. Take your pom-pom, and I'm just going through anywhere in the pom-pom. It doesn't really need to be super specific until it comes out the other side. There we go. Okay. Now you can see it's kind of on my hat. And then I'm gonna go back down through another spot that's kind of right in the middle and pull my needle back out the other side. And let's see how that's looking. Ah, there we go, looking good. Okay, now just do that a few more times. Go back through the middle, like that. Back through the pom-pom, back down. And after you've done that a few times, you just wanna tie a little knot. What you wanna do is go through the fabric, like that and then take your needle back through this to create a little knot. Pull it tight, and then I do that maybe a few more times. Through the fabric, through this little loop, and sometimes I go back again through the other loop and that creates a double knot. Cut your thread, and there we go. We just made a simple, quick, cute little baby hat. 
For more ideas and tutorials, visit my website, madeeveryday.com. And for more information on sewing machines, go to babylock.com, where it's all for the love of sewing. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.